In this lecture, we're going to explore break views. Break views allow us to view a large part clearly in a smaller sized drawing sheet. Using break views, we can go from the drawing on the left to the drawings on the right. To illustrate how to create a break view, we will create one for the following model. This model is of a simple pipe. However, this pipe is relatively long compared to its diameter. So let's go ahead and see how would that look like in a drawing sheet and how we can utilize break views for a better representation. As usual, I'll start by opening a drawings file. And then I'll go to my views. And I will insert a front view and a side view. To create a break view, we can simply go to the view layout and select break view. And when I do that, SolidWorks will prompt me to select a specific view to apply the break to. So I'm going to select the front view for now. And then we will get the break view settings on the left. And there are very few options here. The first option asks us to choose if we want a horizontal or a vertical break. And we're going to start with the first one, which is the vertical break. So if I go to my front view, you will notice a line pops up in my front view. And this line is vertical, which is what we selected from the setting. To apply the break view, I can simply insert this line in two different locations. So I want my first line here, and then my second line here. And those two lines are called break lines. And whatever between the two lines we input will disappear from the drawing. And those two break lines will tell us that whatever is between those two lines is just a uniform continuation of the model itself. In this case, it's a uniform continuation of the pipe we have at hand. And now I can click on the green check mark. And that's it. We have just created our first break view. Let's go ahead and do another one. However, this time it's going to be a horizontal break. So I'll go back to break views and then select the other option for horizontal breaks. And then I'll apply my other break. So I want one line here, another line here, and click on the green check mark. And that's it. I just made my second break line. Notice I have the break for the front view only, and this break did not show on the side view. To have the same break on the side projected view, I can follow one of two ways. The first way is to separately add a break view to that drawing view. So I can go to break views again, select my side view, go to horizontal, and then I can randomly add two lines to my view, and then click on OK. Now notice my break lines for this side view became an actual exact match to the front view I had. And this usually happens by default. If it doesn't happen with you, you can right click, go to properties, and make sure that this option that says align breaks with parent is checked on. The other way to have a side view with a break is to simply create a new projected view from the parent. So if I click on the front view and select projected views and then insert a side view, you will notice that the new side view will have the exact same break lines by default. Now I don't really need two of those, so I'll go ahead and delete the one I just inserted. After the breaks, we can see that the drawing became much smaller. This means we can enlarge the scale to have a better drawing fit to our sheet. So I'll go ahead and change the scale into one to one. Somehow the scale for the side view didn't change, so I'll go ahead and see what happened. It is set to use sheet scale, so I'll go ahead and change that to parent scale. However, I can still see that I have an issue with the alignment of the side view I created. And unfortunately, I would say this is a glitch in SolidWorks and it could happen to you 
So to address that, you can simply right click, go to alignment, and then select default alignment. And this will bring it back to align properly with the front view. Now those views are quite big, which brings us to our next topic, which is modifying a break. Modifying a break is quite easy. If you want to make a break bigger or smaller, you can simply drag it to the direction you want. So I can click on this break section here and then drag it to the right. And drag this one to the left. And then I can drag this up and I drag the other one down. And this will automatically adjust the break. And now thanks to that, we were able to fit our drawing perfectly in this sheet. Keep in mind that there are no specific right or wrong ways of where the brake line should be and how much to break from the model. It all depends on you as a designer or as a draftsman. Now let's explore the additional options we have with brake views. If I click on a brake line, the brake options will show on the left side. Those will allow us to adjust the gap size and the brake line style. Currently, the gap size is set to 10 millimeters. If we change it, you'll immediately notice the change in the drawing. However, I like it at 10, so I'll go ahead and return it to that. Coming to the brake line style, SolidWorks does provide you with few options, standard ones, to choose from of how you want the brake line to look like. Currently, it's set to zigzag cut, but I can change it to one of the different ones that are shown here. For this example, I'm going to select the small zigzag cut. So if I click on that, you'll notice that those change in this specific drawing view. When you do that, keep in mind that if you want to change the style in other views, you'll have to change it separately as well. How about deleting a break view? I can remove a break view in two ways. The first way is to right click on the view and then select the option on break view. So let's try that out. And when you do that, this will remove all the breaks in that specific drawing. I don't really want to do that. So I'll go ahead and go to undo. And now we're back. The other option of removing a break is to simply select the break and then click on delete in your keyboard and then click yes. This will only delete the specific break we selected. Again, let me go back to return the model to how it was. One last thing to note is dimensions. So let me go ahead and start dimensioning this drawing. I'll first create a center line and then go to model items select entire model and then click OK. Now those dimensions shown in the drawings are the real dimensions from the model and the breaks do not have an effect on those displayed dimensions. So regardless whether we have a break or not, this 450 and this 200 will remain the same. Before we conclude this lecture, let's note that break views are mostly used with orthographic views and not with isometric ones. And with this, we conclude this lecture. So while we're here, you can go ahead and experiment a bit more with break views.